Hello, it's Salimek. In today's video, I will show you how to clean throttle body without damaging it. I will show you both ways how to clean it without removing and also with removing from the engine. For some car, it will be easier and for some car, it will be harder to remove it from the engine. But both ways have pros and cons. So for this car, it's way easier to remove it and clean it outside. I will also show you what kind of cleaner you should use and what not to use. So after watching this video, you will have good understanding about cleaning throttle body. If you don't do it properly, you may damage the throttle body and you're gonna have to replace it with a new one. So stick around and I will show you everything you need to know about cleaning throttle body. So we're gonna be working on this 2019 Nissan Kicks and the throttle body located here. Here are most common cleaners that we use on a daily basis on our car. Brake cleaner or a carb cleaner. They are good cleaners and they clean very good but they will destroy throttle body because throttle body has a sensor in it and brake cleaner and a carb cleaner they are too harsh and they will damage the sensor. Electronic cleaners are good cleaners but then after using it it will leave a film on it to enhance the connection between two connectors since we have a sensor in the throttle body and we don't want anything on the sensor because any film on the sensor will give us a wrong reading so we're not going to use this one as well wd-40 not meant for cleaning but if you use it it will leave a oily substance on the surface and then it will attract dust and it will be way worse than before mass airflow sensors are sensor safe cleaner it will clean but it's not a good cleaner for throttle body because on the throttle body sometimes we have a carbon or this black substance so if you don't have anything mass airflow sensor will be a good option you may need to try it a few times but you will be sure that you're not going to damage the throttle body and the best thing to use throttle body cleaner they are sensor safe and good cleaner at the same time so that's what we have to use for cleaning any throttle body another thing you should know about throttle body cleaner it has to be directly sprayed on the throttle body and not from air filter because if you spray it from the air filter it will get in contact with the mass airflow sensor and it will damage it so throttle body cleaner has to be sprayed only on the throttle body one thing to keep in mind, you can use mass airflow sensor on the throttle body, but you cannot use throttle body cleaner on the mass airflow sensor. Alright, just like I mentioned, here is the mass airflow sensor and here is the throttle body. So if we spray it from here, it will damage the mass airflow sensor. But if we remove this and spray it from here, this is the right way. And the second method is, we're going to remove the throttle body and clean it outside. So on this car, it's very easy. We're going to remove these two clamps and then remove four 8mm bolts and then it will come out. Alright, first I'm going to remove the PCV hose. Next, loosening up these two clamps. Now we're going to remove the duct. So if we look at the throttle body, we can see some small particles that may end up between the door and the body and it will give us an even idling. And I found I have one tab which is not closed and over there it dragged some of the dust without filtering. We're going to clean the throttle body and also we will clean mass airflow sensor as well because that dirt came from here and we may have some dust on the mass airflow sensor as well so let's go ahead and disconnect the wire harness and then remove the throttle body and clean it outside and then we're going to clean the mass airflow sensor as well now we're going to hold it and remove the last bolt so if you are wondering why your car not running stable at the low RPM, so if you look at the throttle body and there is sunlight and we can see some of the parts are clogged, especially the downside because most of the dirt will sink over there and stays there. But if we look at the top side, we can see we have a good amount of opening and that's what we need for low RPM when the car is running. So let's go ahead and clean it with the throttle body cleaner. One thing you should keep in mind, you do not have to open the door with your hand it will mess up the gear or sometimes it will break the gear inside the case so i'm gonna spray some in the front and also in the back until that gap will be clean all right it's clean now look how much gun came out so if we check it again we can see a gap and it's all clean and if we compare it with the before Here's how it looks. All right, after cleaning, we're gonna leave it to dry a bit and then we're gonna put it back. So while we are letting the throttle body to dry, I'm gonna remove the mass airflow sensor and clean it since we have some dirt past here because that clip wasn't in its place. Now I'm gonna remove it and clean it as well. So looking at the mass airflow sensor, I don't see anything on it, but I already removed it and I'm gonna clean it. And the air enters from here 
goes to the sensor and then comes out from here. So let's go ahead and clean it with the mass airflow sensor cleaner. So while we are letting it dry, we're going to work on the throttle body and we're going to put it back. Another thing you should be checking before putting the throttle body back, the throttle body gasket, it has to be sticking out like this, otherwise if it's flat, it will leak air and it will give you unstable idling. So that's what you have to check before putting it back. I can also pull it out and check it if I have any crack on it. And in this case, it's in good condition. I'm just going to clean it and put it back. So when we tighten the bolts back, we're going to do it in cross pattern. We're going to do this one and then this one and then the opposite. So it sits flush and not drag it to one side. Now we're going to put the wire connector back. Next, the mass airflow sensor is dry, we're going to put it back. And if you are working on Nissan Kicks, the same car, when you put the mass airflow sensor back, you have to know that if you put it like this, it doesn't sit. It has to be like this. Alright, we are done. We're going to put the duct back. And the last thing, putting the PCV vacuum hose back. So if you are willing to clean the throttle body without removing, you're going to have to put a rag under the throttle body and spray the throttle body cleaner. And then if you want to open the throttle body door, you're going to have to turn the ignition on and then press the gas and it will open it. I have a detailed video about this and I will put it in the video description box below and also YouTube card here. So let's go ahead and turn the engine on. So when you clean the throttle body, you're going to have to leave it and get dry. Otherwise, you have check engine light, but now I left it to dry and then put it back. Now I don't have any check engine light and the engine running stable, even at the low RPM. And that's how to clean throttle body with removing and without removing and what kind of cleaner you should use and what kind of cleaner you should not use. Hope you guys found the video useful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.